So I've just watched this movie and I really loved it. It's oh. so... Uh, we have this uh, expression in Norway. When something is completely crazy, in a uh, good way, uh -huh. we say, that's so Texas. No. Yes. That Wait, is, that really? Is tr yes, that's an expression. <laughs> You're kidding me. No. Look Does at it mean, Google it. We say, that's so Texas. That's why? Act I have no idea. That's so Texas? That's so Texas. It but it's meant good. Like, so But do you say it, you say it in Swedish? I mean, no, I mean um, Norwegian. Sorry. You say it in Norwegian, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. How, does that, how does that sound, please? Det er så Texas. Det er helt Texas. Oh my god. <laughs> sorry, that's so amazing. So yeah, as, as a Texan, how does that make you feel that like we actually have this expression? I think that is so... Norwegian. <laughs> no, it's just crazy. That's a new expression now. Yeah, That's yeah, so yeah. Norwegian. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Yes, I don't know. So Norwegian. Atlantis has always had a king. Now I need something more. Oh, yeah, I really liked it. It's so much action. It's just yeah. so much going on of everything. It's like, did you do a lot of the stunts yourself? I, I mean, I you, this movie, that's why I had so much fun um, watching it. It's because I did, I had a lot of fun making it, but I don't get to see it all come together because so much is um, put in in terms of the environment around you afterwards. So visually, you're, you're doing all the action yourself, but you visually don't have the reference. Mm -hmm. And so it was thrilling to see it i i thought it was it was it made me very happy to watch it all come together after so much time and after working on it for so long i mean it is very <laughs> exhausting to make a movie <laughs> that involves this much not only just like in the fight choreography and the action sequences as you know there of which there are a lot but also yeah. the demands of the suit and um, and, and the kind of uh, strain that, that, that you have just by the nature of the rigs and the equipment that you're put in to make this, it's really, it was a very physically demanding role. I can imagine. And how much was actually shot underwater? A very little of it was underwater. It doesn't mean I wasn't wet a lot. I mean, I had to get soaking wet t um, almost every day. But, um, but yeah, that was very little water, surprisingly. Yeah. What is your personal relationship to the, to the sea? You know, it's so funny. I love a good beach. I hardly ever find myself desiring to get in the water, but you know. You haven't been diving? No. I, no. You don't want to? Never. Now, even after watching Never. this uh, movie, no. even though it doesn't quite look like that underwater? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Not even if there was no. an Atlantis down there, I would not be diving. <laughs> no. no. Definitely, <laughs> definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> And in the movie, you, you play a princess, but you definitely also play a soldier, which yes. is, it's really cool to see that we get, uh, like, we now have more female superheroes. You yes. think this is now changing? Yes, I think it's about time it changes. We need more representations of women throughout all genres of the entertainment industry, throughout all industries, as a matter of fact. But I think that it's nice to see you know, not only this character, but Wonder Woman and Queen Atlanta all are badass superheroes in their own right. They all are powerful in their own right. They're all formidable characters that have their that have agency and have power and personality, and they're not damsels in distress because that's so boring. I know. It's Oops. about time it changes. Oh, so boring. <laughs> it's boring. <laughs>